Okay, welcome back. Um, right, now we're going to finish off the UV sets ready for our texturing. And um, as I said, you should be at this kind of stage now if you followed the last video. So what we're going to do now is we're basically going to seam edges together, um, sew the edges, sew and stitch. So let's have a look. I might need to go outside the viewable area. So I've got a lot to play with here. And we're just going to zoom in a little bit. Now if you click on edge, we select an edge, you'll notice that relevant edges will actually show up together. This edge here is showing that it's connected to this edge. And if you actually look at the model, you can see that we're connecting this edge with the top edge. So you can use the model as a reference just to check. Now to seam these edges together, what we're going to do is we're going to move in and we're going to go and select our UVs. We need to make sure that these are about the same size. So again, selecting UV and then selecting W on the keyboard. We're going to move these down. They're pretty close anyway. And then we're going to go and right click and go to edge. Now up here, we want to move and sew the selected edges. So click that and it will join. And it's joined this mesh with this mesh or this UV with this UV. And so we'll continue to do this across the model. This is going to connect on the bottom. It doesn't really matter. You could flip this and connect it to that edge. In fact, I'll do that just to show you the method. So I could connect it to this edge but I'm not going to, I'm going to connect it to this edge. And in fact, that's better because as you can see, these move down and inwards, these move down and inwards to the trigger. So it will be better for me to flip this. So I'm going to select UV over here, select across, and then up here, you can see you can flip in the U direction or flip in the V direction. I'm going to flick in the V direction. And there you go, you might not see much change, but now if I click on edge, these edges will be the same. So back into UV to select it and to match it up. So we're gonna get it into roughly the right position. We might need to scale a little bit. A little tip here, when you're scaling, put it in the center of where you're scaling to, and when you scale it up, it will then match. If you do it to the side, then you don't know where you're scaling to. So R on the keyboard, flip it up slightly it's roughly the same size then select edge and move and sew so now I've connected this edge with this edge with this edge and we basically continue to do that with the model so I'll leave you to sew these edges together it's not essential that you sew the edges together it just makes for a cleaner cleaner mesh so I'll let you sew all those bits together and see where they're going. Obviously this bit, I'll just show you this quickly because this is that side bit here which will go on to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to select this, then I'm going to move it, and then I'm going to press E on my keyboard, obviously for revolve, and I'm going to turn it at the angle. Then W, put it into position, and then R just to scale it down and E again because I know I've got to just turn it a little bit more W again to move it basically so you're getting it about the same R again just to scale that down might need to zoom in a bit here when you're rotating these texture maps just check that things aren't distorting on here too much. Looks all right. It's changed to sort of try um, diamond shapes. That's because we've changed the angle from straight on to turning it sideways. So now that, that's good anyway. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to seam them together. So now we're sort of seaming the whole thing together and flattening the model out. I'm going to leave this side unconnected or I might connect it to that top section. In fact, I think I will. 
So what I need to do with that obviously is to take the whole object and rotate. And that's something we haven't done yet, so that's good to show you. If you go in here, you can rotate like so. I've rotated the part of the trigger as well, but it doesn't really matter. Bring that up to here, zoom back in, move that into its position, which is there. Right hand click on the edge and sew these two bits together. So we're basically make, turning this into one big grid. See, that's for the bottom of the gun, which will be there. That's for the end part of the gun. So we need to do a double sew on those two edges. Um, or I could flip it and do it to the bottom here. Um, in fact, I think I'll leave that separate. Or maybe not. So you get the principle. So carry on connecting things up. Check that everything's all right. And in the next lesson, you'll see what I've come up with. So maybe flick to the next lesson, see how I've connected things, and then use that as a reference to um, stitch and sew. And then in the next lesson, we're going to create the uh, UV snapshot, and we're going to show you the layout tools. And then we're going to take it into Photoshop, start colouring it. So, see you in the next lesson.